Hey Leo, welcome to your July reading. This will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's find out what's going on with you, what's coming up for you, and what can you expect in the month of July. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's give it one or two more shuffles, okay? One more. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Your sense of expansion. How can you better your current situation? Yeah. Let us see. All right. There's something that you are walking away from. Could be a negotiation where you feel like it's not going anywhere. A situation, a connection where you feel like there's no point talking. Um, or could be a career where you felt like there's no progress, there's no improvement here. Or job, for example. And you're walking away. You, you are making that decision to just walk away. Like, um, like the reading I had recently with... Um, um, is it Virgo or uh, Cancer? Just more like an energy of walking away because you want to cut off your losses. Yeah, And you know better. This situation may have already occurred in the past and you feel like, yeah, this is going downhill or whatever this is. Something is not going well that you are... It's better, at least in your mind, it's better like, you know, cut it out cut it out and um for some of you this is an energy of quitting yeah quitting a job quitting a relationship giving it up mm -hmm. and of course once you're you've cut things off you're now ready you're now now open to what's to come and i feel like you're expecting new opportunities which is good expect that because there are new opportunities rare opportunities coming your way which could bring about new ideas for you. One of the expectations you have is that this new there are still new opportunities out there that would be suitable for you. But what I see here is that they're bringing more. The opportunities that would come your way are more than what you are expecting. More than what you are expecting. There is someone in your life where um, this could be a person from a distance could be a mother figure, could be um, somebody who cares for you, regardless of, of gender or family ties. There is someone who is very caring, compassionate, and could be at a distance from you, Leo. And I feel like you have a special place in this person's heart. So this could even be a person that you call on when you need help, when you need to borrow money, for example, or whatnot. This person has that special space in their heart for you they feel you they feel your suffering they feel that you're not happy and they are ever willing to give you you know little stars along the way little help along the way yeah especially if you are finding yourself um feeling low feeling down feeling as though you are at a crossroads and you don't know where you're heading i feel like you have someone who is very supportive and compassionate towards you. Someone who can lend you a helping hand. Yeah. And what I see here is that a decision needs to be made. And you probably have already made it because I see that you're walking away from a situation. So it's just more of, you know, that if things are not going well, it's time to cut things off. And you find yourself now at a new space. Where, where do I go next? What do I do? What opportunities do I have at hand? Which one should I pursue? You know, this could be about love too. You're in a situation right now where you may have a therapist. You may have somebody who is very supportive of you. And you talk things out. And then now you are in a situation where what's next? What type of relationship do I really want? What type, you know, you are in that crossroads right now. And... 
I feel like cutting things off, cutting your losses is really a good call because you know what? It gives you that space to take a leap of faith for something unknown. Uh, sometimes if we plan things out in our lives, we have our goals, we have our plans. Yes, it's good to have those. But on the other hand, the most interesting part in our lives are not those that we truly plan, but rather those unexpected things that are happening in our life unexpectedly. You know? And you, the outcome for this reading is that there is that sense of you jumping into the unknown, starting a new phase. It could even be you will find yourself really with a different vibe here. Yeah, if you have always been a planner, if you have always been like stringent with your approach to life, I feel like you will change that course. You will find yourself just jumping into a new thing, jumping into a new business venture, jumping or taking a leap of faith to a new romantic situation that may come your way. And from there, it's, you know, things will become limitless. Whatever you imagine a relationship, a romantic connection would be, will become limitless, however you want things to be. You will not be limited to other people's plans or to whatever you have jotted down in your blueprint or your planner. Yeah. You have support here. Let's see. Leo. Yeah. Like I said, the opportunity that will come your way is even greater than what you have been expecting. But even greater than what you have been expecting. You are really disappointed about somebody that you may have had a relationship in the past and this person is not showing any care or, you know, there's a lack of emotional connection. You're dealing with someone who feels like, it feels like, you're dealing with someone who is emotionless. And this is very hurting for you. It's disappointing for you. Yeah. In terms of the romantic connections I see. And that's probably the reason why you are just cutting things off here. Or trying to make another start. And you start on your own. Yeah. This person can be direct with their approach. Whenever they need you, they tell you directly what they want. They're very, somehow when they express what they want, what they think, it's very authentic. Yeah, because they have a goal in mind. This is a person who can become or appear to be authentic because they have a goal in mind. They have thought about things clearly before it even came out of their mouth. Yeah. And they know that once they are clear with their intentions, with their approach, you will help, you will invest, you will give in, you will even help them out. Yeah. This is you. It's like somebody who knows that you will always be there. And it's not just existing. It's more like somebody who will always be there that they can rely on. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is someone you can rely because this is a person who is stable, who knows how to pay their bills, who knows that working, saving, earning money is essential in order to have stability in life. And I feel like you're that. Or if you're a housewife, this is you exactly um, showing that you value what you have right now in a family situation or you value that. But some something is telling me that you are unhappy. You are not, you see, this three of swords, it feels like there's been some neglect, disappointment, lack of attention, lack of honesty. And you're still processing it right now. The pain is still there. You're processing it. You're trying to embrace it, though. You're embracing it because it has to be. It has to be embraced. There's no other way but that. It's more like you're healing yourself, too. You're learning how to heal yourself. All right. 
in the long term or in the immediate future, I do see that, you know, when you try to take a leap of faith into the unknown, into a new endeavor and new love life and new, new thing, try to do new things for you, launch a project, launch a satellite <laughs> or whatever you want to do, Leo, I feel like this would give you that sense of fulfillment, whatever it is that you want to embark on. So it's good to do that. Because once you do that, you feel that sense of accomplishment. You feel fulfilled that you have accomplished something, that you have started something, either creating a website, selling online, um, expanding your social network online or in, in actual interactions yeah, around your circle. But try to take that leap of faith because it will bring you happiness. It will bring you more reasons to celebrate. And it could bring about expansion, more abundance in your life, even beyond what you are expecting. Yeah. Let's get you some advice here. Advice for Leo. Spirit is leading the way. Lose your grip and you'll see magic. So if you have also been um, controlling of your current situation... That can also limit the potential for growth. I see that there is a good opportunity, a really grand opportunity coming your way. This could be an offer of money or a new job, a better career with what, compared to what you have, or even trust funds or you know bulk of money. But it's something tangible, something you can touch. Whatever this is, whatever your current situation is, try not to be controlling, you know, Trust in the unknown, because in the unknown, it's limitless. If you try to experience things from there, if you try to experience new things, it could bring about new experiences in your life. And you don't even know how you would react to it until you're there. So opening up yourself to new situations, new opportunities, new connections could, could bring about new level of success for you. good i love it and spirit is leading the way so you're not alone you know your spirit guides your angels are on to you to bring you all this abundance they're working behind the scenes a wind full of good things are happening all around you expect some good luck and be open to all possibilities this is treasure chest so it summarizes the entire reading that i have for you right now it's a wind full of good things leo are happening Expect good luck and be open to all opportunities. I love it. That's exactly what I'm feeling while I'm reading this for you. The sun, and that is your energy. The sun is coming to shine its light to what's been kept hidden to reveal the truth. All right. It's a very good message, and um, I hope this gives you insights. Let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and uh, enjoy your summer.